Do you ever feel like manifestation is just another thing on your to-do list that you don't have time for? Like your spiritual practice is something that you have to do? Honestly, you're not alone because I felt that way too. Something that's really changed my relationship with manifestation is blending it into my lifestyle so that no matter what I'm doing, I'm also manifesting. I call this manifestation as a lifestyle and it single-handedly made the entire manifestation journey more enjoyable for me and I've seen my desires show up with a lot more ease. Manifesting as a lifestyle has made manifestation go from feeling like a task to something I just naturally do because it's who I am. If you'd like to learn more about this, I've created a step-by-step guide for you. I'll link it in my show notes so you can check it out. Hey love, welcome to Affirm It Express, the mini series within the podcast that's all about giving you a quick spiritual boost. In each episode, I'll share affirmations or a quick tip to help you stay in your best energy. So let's get to the good stuff and affirm it together. Hello love and welcome back to Affirm It Express. Today, the theme is affirmations for beginners. And what I mean by beginners is if you're just getting started on your manifestation journey and specifically with affirmations, I wanted to just give you three baseline affirmations that you can add to your rotation or just get started with to start to notice subtle little shifts in your relationship with yourself, in your 3D world, all of the things. And so I want to just give you a little bit of a baseline. And maybe you are an expert in manifestation, and you're really good with your affirmations, you can add these to any rotation that you have, and you can also customize them to be a little bit more specific to you. So the first affirmation is, I am worthy of all of my desires. Now, this obviously feels a little bit basic and a little bit simple, but if you dissect every single word, if you dissect the basis of why we don't have certain desires, it is because there is some sort of story we have created as to why we cannot have that. And after layers and layers and layers of your programming, your childhood, your random life experiences, your comments that you've read about yourself or things that people have said to you, somewhere along the way, there is a worthiness issue. Not necessarily like you don't think you deserve it. There might be like you don't want to deserve it because you're scared that it might change the way people see you. Like there is some story around worthiness and certain desires that you're manifesting. And so I am worthy of all my desires is just a really good neutral, not overly specific one. Um, But if you want to make it more specific, feel free to change out desires and put in your specific manifestation, whatever you're working on, or some feelings that you want to call in. The next one is, I am enough just as I am. Now, I was debating between this one or everything I need is within me. And similar to the worthiness one, I feel like this is a more positive approach. So enough, right? I have been in so many situations And so many things that have and haven't manifested or at certain times they weren't there yet. And I was in the in-between. And the question I kept asking myself constantly was, am I good enough for this? Am I good enough for this? And it's just another way of saying, yes, I'm worthy. But sometimes enoughness resonates with us more. And it kind of has to do with if you're feeling more guilty versus shame or like fear and anxious based. It has a very different connotation to your deeper emotions that you might be dealing with. So that's our second affirmation. And our third one is I enjoy the entire manifestation process. This is a new favorite for me personally, because I think after manifesting for over half my life, so almost 15 years, almost 14 years, I feel like people, including myself, only want to experience manifestation for the end result. But that gets us in a cycle of constantly searching and chasing. And when we can give ourselves permission to enjoy the in-between, enjoy the process of receiving, then everything shifts in the manifestation journey. Your desires start to flow. You start to feel better as you're welcoming it in, even if you don't know how. And it just makes it an overall much better experience. Um, And it kind of just, it can be 
a lot more smooth in terms of how you feel throughout the process. Rather than a full roller coaster, it might be like you're going down a gentle river of ups and downs rather than like a roller coaster with flips and turns and all the crazy things. So it might be a little bit more of a gentle process for getting to your manifestation rather than as rigid and up and down. And so those are the three affirmations. We're going to repeat them together. Let's go. I am worthy of all of my desires. I am enough just as I am. I enjoy the entire manifestation process. I am worthy of all of my desires. I am enough just as I am. I enjoy the entire manifestation process. And you can carry these with you anywhere, write them down, put them as your wallpaper, but enjoy these affirmations and I hope they serve you well. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.